Boys and girls, ladies and gents, members of the Big Red Army, it's your boy Big Red back for another episode of the Ghetto Gourmet. I'm tired. It's 9 o'clock at night. I haven't eaten nothing all damn day. I'm hungry like a Hebrew slave, and I don't feel like cooking. So sometimes being ghetto means you got to use that old nuke box. And this is going to be more or less like a product review more than cooking because, I mean, I'm just going to nuke what I'm eating. So, let's see what we got on deck here. We got State Fair Classic Corn Dogs. There you have it. And, uh, I believe they're all individually wrapped. I don't know. I haven't had these in years. Uh, made with real honey. Microwavable. Keep frozen. Let's, uh, get the old skizzadizzles here. I haven't had these in years. So let's see if they're as good as I remember them. Alright, so we got that cut open. So let's, uh, oh, yeah, we've got two sides because it opens like a, a flip top. Like like old school flip phone for the old school for the old fool. So let's go ahead and give this side a little wacky whack job here. Like, like, like he was in the mob or something. He got clipped. You know what I'm saying? We just clipped him. So anyway, let's see what we got here. We got 16 count on these corn dogs. How do we cook these in the old nuke box? You could either deep fry them. You could put them in the oven, which would take 20 minutes. Or you could put these damn things in the old nuke. I can't see. I got to get way the hell back here. Place corn dog. My eyes are getting so bad. It's so late at night. Okay, so you gotta do it for... You know what? I'm gonna pause this and go get my reading testicles so I can see this here. So I don't screw it up. Alright, so I'm back. And I got my reading testicles. Alright, now I can see this thing here. It says, place corn dog on microwave safe plate. Microwave on high for 50 to 55 seconds or until hot. It says let stand for a minute. But that's just for one. Do I need to add any extra, extra time for extra dogs? I don't know. It used to say something like that. Yeah, it says add 20, 10 to 20 seconds if needed. But it doesn't say per dog or whatever. Anyway, let's 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 see what's inside. They come in this little bag here. Oh, they're not individually wrapped. This is different. This is so much different than the old ones. The old ones were individually wrapped. So let's get our microwavable safe plate here, aka the only type of dishes we've got. So we're gonna just go ahead and put one, two. Three, four. We're gonna put four. Maybe this ain't the same brand I used to get. I don't know. The ones I used to get, they were individually wrapped. I don't know. Maybe they just uh, decided to uh, go cheap and put one big wrap. I don't know. It says hot dogs made with turkey and chicken, pork, and wrapped in a honey sweet batter. Good source of protein, no added hormones or steroids, zero trans fat. 
220 calories per dog. So we're looking at like 880 calories right there. Big Red's never going to get into that speedo at this point. So we're going to put these puppies in here, these little corn dog puppies, evenly spaced. I'm going to nuke them for a minute and see what happens. While we at it, we're going to get our comments. What do you like on your corn dogs? I'll tell you what I like on mine. I like ketchup and mustard. Because it's cheaper than a hot dog with no mustard. I looked at your girl and I was disgusted. What do y'all know about that? Let me know down in that comment section down below if you know what that was. It's old school for the old fool. Alright, so what do I want to come out of here? What do I want to come out of here? I don't know. Do I want some chips? I don't know. Oh, I'll see if I had any extra ketchup or mustard. Yeah, I got another ketchup. Mustard's another story. I don't think I got a backup mustard, so I might have to put that in a little grocery list. I'm looking the other cup here. No, no extra mustard, so I better have enough up in here. Yeah, they got plenty. This is like almost a whole bottle. Let's add, let's add 30 seconds to that. Let's add another minute to that. Because they don't sound like they're sizzling. Let's put the old ketchup a shake, shake. Shake, 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 Zenora. What do you know about that, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the knife out so we can mix that up for you. Mm-hmm. But don't be cheaper than a hot dog with no mustard. You looked at your girl and I was disgusted. Yeah, that's right. What do y'all know about that? Like I said, tell me down in the comment section down below. What you know. Alright, that, that should, let's see. Now they're still cold. So we're going to add a little minute to that nuke box there and see what happens. Yeah? You want some corn dogs? You want to say hello to the peeps? You want to say hello to the peepees? Come on. Oh. What? What? Say hello, peoples. Say hello, look at all my cuteness. Look okay. up. Look okay. Who's that right there? Look okay. up. Who's that? Who's on the, who's on the camera there? What the? I just sit here and clean my paw and look beautiful. You looking beautiful? Huh? And look at her. She ain't got no tail. See? Look at her. No tail. Huh? See? No, no tail. I'm a full-blooded man. I don't need no stinky tail. All right, come on. See? I don't need no stinky tail. Now these seem like they couldn't be hot enough. I don't know. I remember uh, if, it, if if this is the same brand they changed the packaging for sure because I remember them being individually wrapped. I also remember the instructions used to say uh, X amount of time for one, and then add X amount of seconds or minutes per second or third. You know, it was like X amount per second. for each additional corn dog. And see, this is how we do it here at Big Red's house. We put the ketchup and the mustard on top of each other, and then we just give it that little mix. And then you get this pretty, instead of red and bright yellow, you get this nice orangey Mess is what you get. Mm hmm. Damn, they're just right. Let's put this away up in the old ice box. Who still calls their refrigerator an ice box? That's old school. You know what I'm saying? 
I think, I don't know if we ever actually had a true ice box. Let me go turn on the light in here so I don't fog on my face when I come walking through here. I don't know if I ever truly had an ice box growing up as a kid. I may have like when I was itty bitty and don't remember it. But that, that's way before my time. People used to have to buy blocks of ice and put it in their in their refrigerator. Now it wasn't even a refrigerator, it was an ice box. You put it in there and you close the door and you kept that's what kept your food cold. Research it, Google it. Y'all got that information at your fingertips. So check that out, y'all. I don't remember ever having I think my great grandparents had an ice box still that they kept in their refrigerator. I mean in in their uh in their garage. But I don't I don't know. I, I don't have a good recollection of that. And then they came up with refrigeration and ice boxes were a thing of the past. I mean, nuking these things aren't bad. They'd probably taste better if you deep fried them. Be a lot more greasier, but you'll get that crunchy coat. I have a feeling. And if you put them in the oven, they'd come out just like this, just uh, a little slower. Maybe I ought to experiment with this. I mean, since I got 16 of these... And I usually like to eat them in multiples of four. Maybe I'll do the next set in the oven. I don't have a, fr a way to fry these, so other than like a regular frying pan, but that ain't deep frying them. I need to lay down. I'm tired as hell. It uh, been thundering and lightning here for the past couple hours. No rain yet, but you better believe it's coming because I tell you what, that old uh, my knees are letting me know all about it. I get this old thing to work here. Try to turn the TV on before I turn the cable box on so I can mute it so it don't blare. So I'm turn it on. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Got reruns of 
Bob Berga. I'm not a big Bob Berga fan. I mean, I just recently started watching some to go to bed. Let's just put this freaking thing on the man here. Let's find something here. Watched a pretty decent movie last night. I really don't like the actor. I think he's a douche, but it was a good movie. Um, this said actor picked some awesome roles, or his agent gets him some awesome roles. A good actor. I just think personally he's a douche. Or as a person, I think he's a douche. I've seen some interviews with him that turn me off. I'm sitting here thinking of, you know, the movie I watched last night. And I'm forgetting to freaking change the channels here. Let's see here. Must be the Tom Cruise hour, because the first three things that pop up is Mission Impossible Uno, Mission Impossible Deux, and Top Gun. What the hell is this? Tom Cruise Hour? I don't know. And then we got chills and they multiplying. Let me set this to ABC order so it's easier for me to scan down this shenanigans I don't know what I feel like watching here I mean got the same old crap April Fool's Day that's a good horror flick as long as it's not a remake let's see nope oh, it's the original I don't know did they ever remake April Fool's Day as good as it gets I was the movie. The Babe saw it. Bob Wire saw it. Basketball saw it. Beavis and Butthead do America saw it. Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Beneath the Planet of the Apes saw them both. Got them both on DVD. Now, why are you going to do this? Stars. You're going to have Beverly Hills Cop and Beverly Hills Cop 3. What if I wanted to watch the marathon and see all three of them? I can't watch part two. Shame on you, Stars. Not that I want to watch Beverly Hills Cops. I'm just saying. Bless the child. That was a good paranormal psychological thriller. The Birds, or Alfred Hitchcock, not bad. Got it on DVD though. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Cat People, that's a good movie. It was filmed in New Orleans. The zoo was actually the Audubon Zoo. Before it was remodeled. Here's another one. Child's Play 2 and Child's Play 3. What if I wanted to watch Child's Play 1 to see the whole trilogy? 
Cloak and Dagger. I saw that. That that used to be one of my favorite kid movies. Coming to America, the royal penis is clean, sir. Coneheads. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Craft. Is that the remake of the Crazies or is that the original? That's the remake. I have no use for it. Cujo. The lady that played E.T.'s mom, or Elliot's mom in E.T., she's the mom in this, too. Uh, let's see. What do I want to watch? She hears some more Tom Cruise shenanigans. Days of Thunder. Must be Tom Cruise month. The R Death Race 2 and 3, which is... Re Based off of the remake of the original Death Race. No use for it. Death Wish. The original Death Wish. I, I, I saw that a few times. Destroy All Monsters. Come on, ain't Jack on TV that I want to see. Dr. Detroit. They got a good one line in there. I'll rip off your head and shit down your neck. Mm-hmm. Escape from L.A., Escape from Planet of the Apes. Must be the Planet of the Apes month. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I watched that to go to bed last night. Or did I watch that last night? I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. All my days run together. Ain't crap on here I really want to see. FX2. Which, what if I wanted to see part one? Dust from, dawn, dust, from dust till dawn, two and three. Not part one. Can't watch the whole trilogy. Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. Good flick. Ghoulies 1 and 2. Hey, I could watch those. But did they make a Ghoulies 3? I think they did. Which Godzilla film is that? That's the original from 54. Godzilla Raids Again. Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Megalon, King of All Monsters. I got a few James Bond flicks on here. Grease 1 and 2. Which Grease you like better? I like Part 2 better. I'm not a big fan of... Well, I'll say this. The musical part of Grease 1 was better than Grease 2. But Michelle Pfeiffer in those tight leather pants. Oh my god. Oh. And the song Cool Rider, yeah, because he's a cool rider. Such a cool, 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 cool rider. I'm going to go through this whole thing before I... There's another Godzilla flick. Jason X, a.k.a. Jason Malcolm's younger brother. It's crap. Juice, little Tupac movie. That's not a bad flick, actually. I kind of like that movie. I think that might be what I'm going to watch, depending on what else is on. Kickboxer 2, 1, 2, and 3. I could do the whole trilogy of that. Kickboxer 4, hey. Kickboxer 5. I could go 1 through 5. The remake of King Kong, the 76 remake, the only one they should have done. Although I did hear they're going to do another Godzilla vs. King Kong coming up soon here. In 2019, maybe? What do y'all feel about remakes? Anyway, I need to rate these corn dogs real quick. Love and the 45. That was a good movie. Independent film. Uh, who was in that? Was that um, Renee Zellweger? Yep. Yeah. When she was young and good looking. Lucky Slevin. That was good. I enjoyed that flick. I think that's another indie film. I need to start doing more movie reviews. Like, flicks that you may or may not have seen. You know, anybody could go to a regular movie theater and do the biggest blockbuster. But sit through with, like, an older film and then let me know. Um, how about this? Mommy Dearest from 1981. Great movie. Based on... Slightly based on a true story. Martha versus Godzilla. And of course, there's a lot more crap. I'm just not worried about mentioning it. These are just things that I would consider watching. Naked Gun 1, 2.5, and, and 
33 and 33 and a third. Not bad. Nighthawks. That was a good flick. That was with, uh, I want to say that was with old Sly Stone and Rugger Howard, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Billy D. Williams, Rugger Howard, and Sly Stone. He was an undercover cop. I remember that. And they took on some terrorists. <sighs> some more James Bond films. The Patriot. That's a good Mel Gibson flick. I enjoy the hell out of it. I watched that about a month ago. Platoon. Pulled the guys two and three. What if I want to watch part one? Prophecy. Two and three. The original Psycho. Raising Cain. The remake. With uh. Was that uh, Rucker Howard? Was he in there? I don't remember. Rear Window, Alfred Hitchcock flick. Good flick. Revenge of the Nerds. See, what about part one? Part one's the best one there. River No Return. Little uh, old cheesecake film with Marilyn Monroe and uh, Robert Mitchell. Marilyn Monroe was a thick chick. Oh, we could do some Roadhouse. Rodan. Rollerball. That was a good sci-fi sci flick there. Rosemary's Baby. Good horror flick. Scream 1. The Secret of Nymph. I don't know. So far. Ooh, The Shadow. Who knows? The Shadow knows. Shocker. Had a great soundtrack. Movie? Eh. Well, it's terrible. Son of Godzilla and uh, 8 million Star Trek movies. What, how many Star Trek movies did they have? As you can tell, I'm not a Trekkie. I'd rather Star Wars. Um, Demon Knight Tales from the Crypt. I enjoyed that. That was good. Terror Mecha Godzilla. Um, The Thing, remake John Carpenter's from the early 80s. Tu Wong Fu, thanks Julie Newmar for every, thanks for everything Julie Newmar. You gotta love the tranny movie, you know what I'm saying? They all, well, I don't know if they were trannies or they were just, uh, they weren't trannies, they were drag queens. Wesley Snipes and, uh, John Leguizamo, I think's his name, and then, um, Patrick Swayze. Good movie. Kind of tutti fruity, but not bad. It's worth watching at least once. Alright, um, Vertigo. I like Vertigo. Little Hitchcock film. Video Drone. I can do some of that. Uh, View to a Kill. Another Bond movie. Um, War of the Gagantuas. Wow. Old. What's Eating Gilbert? Great, great movie, great movie. Arnie Killed Wild Things. It's another good movie with a little twist to it. My first X-Men movie. Yeah, that's about it. I guess we're going to go up to the, go back up to the top here. And I think we're going to watch Juice because you got the juice, kid. Um... Um, so anyway, let's rate these dogs. I'm sorry I made y'all sit through all of that shenanigans. What do y'all think? Maybe I should do some more movie reviews? I've done one. Uh, somebody sent me a, a DVD to watch, and it took me three painstakingly days to, to watch it. Uh, because it was it was extremely slow. But I got that video out there. Go, go watch that. Um... Let I me mean, know if y'all want me to start doing movie reviews. Uh, anyway, those core dogs, they're the same as I remember, except for the f the packaging. The packaging seems, if, it, if it's the same brand, the packaging's a little different, and uh, the instructions are a little different than from what I remember. But I'm still going to give them like a solid four flip-flops because I mean if, if you're hungry and uh, 
you really don't feel like cooking? Slap a couple of them puppies in, in, in the old nuke box. Spark it up. Put you some ketchup and mustard. And there you go. Um, What do y'all like on y'all corn dogs? I wonder if I could make like corn dogs and like some chili and dip it in the chili. That might be pretty interesting. Make like a bowl of chili and some corn dogs and instead of dipping it in ketchup, dip it in the chili. Might try that once. See how it goes. You know, all my experiments don't work. A lot of them fail, but none of them have killed anybody yet. So keep that in mind. Anyway, four flip-flops for the uh, State Fair corn dogs. I'd rather get one that's, you know, uh, deep fried. I, I don't have a fry daddy. But anyway, and then even if I did, just to fill that up with oil, just to fry four corn dogs, why? What's the purpose? Anyway, over here, you got that subscription button. Please consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Then down below is that description box with a description of the video, links to follow me on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, link to this channel's homepage where you can find all the older content separated by category and or series as I like to call them. Over here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Ba -ba! Hit me with one. It doesn't matter which. It just lets me know you're watching. And don't forget that notification bell. You thought I forgot, but I didn't forget the notification bell right there. After you become a member of the Big Red Food Army, you can hit that notification bell and be notified when I have new content. There's also that comment section down below, yo. Type me out a comment. Let me know what you're feeling, what you're thinking, how you like your corn dogs, what brand corn dogs you like. Anyway, let me know something. I'll let you know something right back. Mm-hmm. Because that's how we do here. Anyway, I want to thank each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of the big fat gut to the top of the almost bald dome, thanks for hanging out with your boy, as always. Tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share the video with your family and friends, show them how you get down with Big Red. Maybe they'd like to get down with Big Red, too. Never know unless you share the video. Caring, sharing, so start caring. People share the video. Y'all share other nonsense? Why not this nonsense? Big Red for another episode of the Ghetto Gourmet, and I'll see you guys next time in the kitchen. Until then, may all of your cooking be ghetto fabulous. I'm out. I'm going to watch Juice because I got that juice, kid. <laughs>